Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use AQ Advisor, which is an online aquarium stocking calculator. If you type it into Google, it should be the first result that comes up. And if you click on it, this is what you're going to be brought to. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit and move it into the middle. On the left here, you have a list of all the fish that they have in their database. They have 917 species here, as you see at the bottom. These are all freshwater fish as we are on the freshwater tab. However, they do have saltwater as well on a saltwater tab, which I'll show you in just a moment. For now, I'll briefly show you the interface. They do have this juvenile sizes button if you're using a temporary tank. Here is where you can add and remove some fish from your tank calculations, and the ones that you add will be in the selected species box here. On the left, you do have the large list of fish that I mentioned, and in the search box right above it, this is where you can type the name of a fish and drastically narrow down that list. The more specific you are, the shorter this list will become. The top of the page is where you add your tank information, which you will need for your calculations as well. They have some text boxes like length, depth, and height, and they also have some handy drop-down menus of tank dimensions, gallon sizes, as well as the filter you have. For easy reading, you can also change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius, gallons and liters, and centimeters and inches. You can also add or remove any filters that you might be using. Now I'll just show you the saltwater tab. It is almost identical to the freshwater one. Just of course you have a different list of fish and they also don't have filter options for it. Moving back on over to the freshwater tab, there's just a couple things that I haven't shown yet. The first one is the display only suitable species for your tank button. Basically when you put in your tank calculations, it will only show you ones that are fine for your tank size. If you don't have it, you will get this little warning here. And then of course they have all this, basically what you would call fine print. The biggest thing is that it does not use the simple but flawed inch per gallon rule. Basically, this rule is very outdated and it does not account for bio load or waste or activity level, any of that stuff, but this website does keep that in mind, which is excellent. The last few points just say that the page is bookmarkable, that it's okay to share on other sites, and of course that the fish hobby is always changing and they update the site as often as they can, but always use caution when putting your tank together. So that is the very brief explanation of everything that is on this page. Let's begin a proper calculation. For starters, if you know how big your tank is, you can add it into the dimensions and it will automatically calculate the inches for you. If you don't know the gallons of your tank, no worries. Just measure your tank with a measuring tape and you could add the length, depth, and height into the text boxes here. Click update and it will tell you how many gallons your tank is. In this instance, the numbers I punched in would be a three and a half gallon tank. Then you can choose a filter. They have so many options, I almost guarantee the filter you use will be on here. I'm gonna use the filter that I used when I had my 20 gallon tank, which was a top fin power filter. Now that you have your tank info in, you can see what happens when you click the display only suitable species list. As you can see, we didn't get a warning this time and it went down to 504 selectable species. Now I'm just gonna clear that and put in the name of a fish that we probably all have, a betta. The search box will work for both the common name and the scientific name, and if you click this button at the bottom here, it will organize how it is sorted. Now let's add our fish. I'm going to click on male beta, and the quantity will automatically be one. We don't need to change this because you would only use a singular male beta, but if you switch to female, you can type in another number, I'm going to use five here, and you can add and it will say five times beta female. So it will add exactly the amount in your selected species list. If you look down here, there will be a warning though. Because the site is geared for beginners, it is going to advise you not to do a female beta sorority. If there are any compatibility issues, they will be here. When you add a fish though, it will also give you the temperature range, pH range, and hardness range, as well as your current aquarium filter capacity, the recommended water change schedule, and the current aquarium stocking level. If you click generate image, you will get this image here of your tank dimensions, the type of fish you have in your tank, as well as your current stocking level. Now say you got those compatibility warnings and you don't wanna do it. If you click on the selected species in this list, just click remove and it will remove all of them. However, if we quickly put those back here and you only want to remove a couple, just type a number into the removal box and then you can click remove. And as you can see, now we only have three. You can also click clear fish selections if you want to remove the whole list, but it's just as easy to click remove when you only have one. 
You can use the advanced search button here if maybe you want a fish and you don't know the name of it, or you're just looking for fish that will be suitable for your tank. You can add it between temperature or size. So I'll add between one and three inches. And as you can see, it shortened the list down from 917 to 299. So it's still a very large number. However, it is a lot smaller. To finish off this video, I'm just going to put a couple scenarios together so I can show you different types of warnings that you can get on the site. So the first one that I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a male betta and I'm going to add a shrimp. They have lots of different options, but I'm gonna choose the very popular cherry shrimp here. And I'm going to add four of them. Now, technically the tank is big enough and ideally these should go together. But once again, it is a beginner site. So it's gonna tell you it's not recommended and further research is highly recommended. This research is that they might get eaten, so do it at your own risk. So like the betta tank, it's not giving you any warnings for aquarium capacity or anything like that. It's just saying it might not work. Now let's build another tank here. I'm going to put an assassin snail, which is known for eating many, many snails. And I'm going to add a Malaysian trumpet snail. And now let's look at the warning. This one says it is not recommended to go together because the trumpet snail might get eaten. So that is definitely another type of warning you can get if you're mixing predators and prey together. Now the last tank I'm going to build is probably the most atrocious tank I can think of. I started off by picking the dimensions of a two and a half gallon tank, and now I am putting in two silver arowanas, which are massive fish, so they would not even fit in this tank. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a tiger barb. You will see in a minute why I'm choosing this one, but we're just gonna go with the generic tiger barb and we're gonna add only two. So this is a schooling fish to calm aggression. So I'm gonna do too little of an amount. The last thing I'm gonna do is add an angel fish, which I quickly learned I had to do it as one word. So it is a little bit sensitive in that area. And I am picking one angel fish, a fish that will be drastically nipped at by the tiger barb. Now let's see what this hot mess of an aquarium gives us for warnings. Look at that. There is a mass amount of compatibility issues. There is nipping issues, schooling issues. So as you can see, all of the warnings that I tried to get, um, I got all those plus some. And of course we did get a overstocking warning because the purpose of this website is overstocking and it will say that we did that terribly. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you found it useful. I loved this site when I had a community tank. I used it all the time and I would highly recommend it to anyone. It is a little bit more cautious for people who have been in the fish hobby for a while, but it really helps beginners not make any beginner mistakes when it comes to mixing fish together. As a result of this, of course, a lot of fish are kept happy, healthy, and in proper sized tanks and they're not stressed out. So I love it. I hope you guys like it too. And that's why I wanted to make this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload. That is all for today and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!